Good day just for you crew and welcome to the cottage vlog. We are up at the cottage. Uh, as of you saw as you saw of yesterday's thing, I still have my headache. Uh, it is the 16th of March, Monday. Uh, I slept for 14 hours yesterday, which is a good thing. Hopefully that helped get me through some of this illness. Uh, a lot of you guys are new since uh, I've done a vlog up at the cottage. This is uh, Carol's parents' cottage, so my in-laws' cottage, and uh, what's well, their home? Basically, they're up in up in cottage country, but uh, that's what she looks like. Nice. Uh, so in the summertime, we get the awnings out, and because the sun comes, that's the east, I believe, and uh, so the sun comes up there. So in the morning, it just heats up this cottage like crazy. But that's uh, the lake. That is called Gibson Lake in the Muskokas. And uh, so the dock is usually down there somewhere. This, this lake raises about six feet uh, between when it freezes and then when it thaws, it raises about six feet up. Uh, so nobody has their cottage really close to the lake on this lake. Everybody's up and away from the water because it is so crazy unpredictable. Uh, but it's, they've got a whole beach, some rock, and they got 600 feet of frontage. They have a beautiful rock over here uh, that I do, do all my fishing off of uh, when I'm at this cottage, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet up here. Just because it's, well, it's March break though. You'd think there'd be more people out booking around in their snowmobiles, but lots of snowmobile tracks, but don't hear anything. Uh, if you hear any funny noises, that's the Blue Jay, and because Sam's out here right now, there's all the bird seed that they knock off from the bird feeder, and there was a bunch of squirrels around here cleaning up. If you can hear that. Oh, there's a squirrel. Look at the big black squirrels. And, uh, Oh, woodpecker. And this, there's a woodpecker right down there. Got all the blue jays scrammed. I'll try and get some footage for you later. Anyway, so just up at the cottage, relaxing, trying to get through this illness or whatever it is. All right. Good day just for your crew and welcome to the travel vlog. Today we'll be going to Niagara Falls and uh, the main reason is, there's two reasons. Carol wanted to get away and I said well, let's just go to Niagara Falls for a couple days and uh, I also had a little alter ulterior, alternative motive? No, ulterior motive? Whatever. And. Uh, I wanted to zip over into Buffalo and do the bacon wrapped Little Caesars pizza and uh, so I'm going to do that tomorrow but today it's just all Carol and uh, so I just set my Garmin up and it's 194 <coughs> kilometers away and uh, here she goes, get in. Anyway so uh, it's 194 kilometers. So that takes about two and a half hours or two hours, depending on how fast I drive. And um, yeah, so I've got bronchitis, it seems, and I'm on some clarithinimenium sin type antibiotics. So we are off and I will vlog when I can. Well, we are here at the Hilton in Niagara Falls. There's the Hilton. We're probably up there somewhere. I gotta get to the lobby right across from the fine German restaurant. And one of the cool things they have here, I just noticed across the street, is indoor skydiving. I always wanted to try that. We'll see. We'll see. I left Carol at the lobby. Exit here for... I'm in Hilton. And... Carol should be around here somewhere. She's probably checked in. She's already having a jacuzzi. 
Nice hotel though. Nice. Sweet. So we are on the 30th floor. Can't wait to show you guys the room. I splurged just a little bit. Carol just wanted to reserve uh, our dinner reservations. So this is South Tower for sure. Okay. Elevators, let's do it. We are on the 30th floor. This is just the view from the hallway. Vertigo. Ugh. There's a skydiving place. Hmm. Debating on whether or not to do that. So we are staying at 3002. Because this is going to go up tomorrow. We'll be gone. Not as big and fancy as I thought it was going to be, but this is cool. Oh, and it's at the... Let me show you around people before Carol comes in. Oh, that is a light. That's a really bad light. Okay, so here's the washroom. Ooh, big jacuzzi tub. Let me turn this around. Big jacuzzi tub with windows that open up. We've got the sink. Very nice layout. The toilet. Fill up shower. I'm gonna fill that up. I'm gonna clog it and then fill it all the way up and go for a swim. No, no, because I don't want my deposit to go away. Nice king size bed, flat screen television, laptop, little office area, awesome couch, table, ottoman. Nice artwork. Okay, let's open this up a bit more. Oh boy. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, do that. I mean, Carol's gonna like that view. Holy schmoly. What do you think, people? Besides the parking, I actually thought I booked that hotel on that side, but I clicked on the wrong hotel, it seems. So there you go, people. That is the room. Hope you like it. Okay, Carol. All right, guys, we're gonna go get something to eat. I decided to show you the view from this window because I didn't have the curtains open. So it's a really nice panoramic view. I was thinking when you're in a hotel and you're up this high, then you don't have to go and pay the Skyline to get the same view. So the Skyline, I'm having a hauls right now for, for my cough. All right, so we're heading for get some to eat. Let's go. Okay, we're eating at an Italian place called Pranzo. Uh, it's actually, I think, part of the, the Hilton Hotel. It looks like it's right on the corner, right across from uh, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. And so I'm having the veal, I think it's a veal parmesan sandwich. And uh, the bread is like amazing. Uh, but the veal and stuff is just, you know, regular veal, Parmesan sandwich. I got fries too. And what did you get, Carol? Chicken. She got like a chicken sandwich. Check it out. And how, how would you rate that? Go out and get it now. Really? It's a go out and get it now. Wow. That means you, the next time you came here, you would order that again. Okay, this is a recommend for me. It's like, it's good, but it's not above and beyond my expectation. But the bread is, excuse me, it was that good. Uh, the bread is fantastic. The bun is amazing. I'm not sure if you have the soft bun like I do. Mine's hard. It looks like yours is crispy. Same bun, though. Mine's anyway. Extra crispy. Carol got the extra crispy toasted one. Or stale. I doubt it's stale. Because mine's super fresh and really yummy. Carol got the crappy one. So yeah, she had her toaster or something. Anyway, so we'll show you the sights in a bit, as soon as we finish eating, burping, eating, drinking, go. Just thought I'd show you the restaurant, it's pretty cool. Nice looking fans up there. They also have this like uh, center fireplace right there, which is kind of cool. It's a nice restaurant. Check it out. Like I said, that's what it's called. 
Franzo Italian Grill, and it was fantastic. Good meal. Uh, now we're heading down to the falls. Here we go. So that's the uh, Falls View or Niagara Falls View Casino Resort. It's absolutely huge. It goes all the way from there all the way over to there. It is crazy big. All right, so we had to change our reservation plans because it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. We just finished eating that crazy meal that I couldn't even eat the fries because it's so big. And uh, so we had to switch it from six o'clock to eight. We're gonna book it. Run through the red light, break the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. As you can see, we've gone full circle. Maybe you haven't seen. But well, there's the Hilton. We walked all the way down that street, all the way down there to try and get to the falls. And they block everything off because in the winter time, the mist from the water lands on all the walkways, makes them very, very slippery, dangerous. So they block off all the ways to get down to the falls there. So we had to walk through the whole casino. Out there, there's a really cool pepper place there that has like uh, ghost peppers and reapers and scorpions. They sell all that stuff. Of course, you can't get down those stairs. They had to do this long ramp. But uh, isn't that a sight to see? Sweet. Okay, so we got to walk around all the way. At least we're getting our exercise exercise after that big, big meal. All right, let's go. There's the American Falls. Okay. And that is all ice. It's at the base. These big round, smooth objects are not usually there for those of the people who don't know. So once again, this wide angle lens won't be able to grasp the magnitude of that waterfall. But that's the Rainbow Bridge way down to the left. There's like a lookout tower that's all green. That's the American Bridge uh, lookout. And then you look this way, which is west, down to Horseshoe Falls. You can see that ice is just probably 50 feet, maybe, maybe 20 feet thick. It's crazy. Not sure if you guys can see that, but just around that green building down in the water, there's a rainbow. And I believe that's why they call it the Rainbow Bridge. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're getting closer. There's another rainbow, guys. Check it out. Seagull flying through my rainbow. There's Horseshoe Falls. And a baby crying. So this is uh, the infamous Clifton Hill. We're going to eventually get to Hershey. Let's see if they've got like a one pound chocolate bar. Maybe I'll do a, a challenge. This is where all the uh, wax museums and stuff are. Our rock cafe. There's the Coke shop, and right beside the Coke shop is the Hershey store. Let's check it out. All right, we are inside the Hershey store. So, should I or shouldn't I? I should. Should I or shouldn't I? I should. Oh, 
Some people are so friendly around here, they'll give you a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Thank you. Okie dokie. So the Coke shop is right beside it, but it's a walk through from shop to shop. And they got a lot of Coke stuff. Nice. At the Guinness World of Records Museum, fun for all ages. It's all here. Let's go into the fudge shop. There's uh, the haunted house out of fire. And so the haunted house in, in Brick City, I guess, had a fire a little while ago and they're rebuilding. So you can't go in there. They even have Bumblebee down here. This is the Ripley, believe it or not, building. We are back at the hotel. Carol grabbed a water, or sorry, a, a tea from Starbucks, and that costs three dollars and twenty cents. Just to give you a heads up, how much tea costs here? It could be just a Starbucks thing, though. All right, guys, here's the night view. It's almost time for dinner. But I thought I'd show you what the falls look at night. They eventually, I think, will turn on the lights to the falls so that uh, they all prettied up look like rainbows the uh, hotel across the street their lights change red green mauve i think that's all and blue so right now it's blue come on change now and you can see that bright light way behind it that actually is like a big television on the side of that american side i guess it's probably a casino because they have like the big oh there goes the red but uh, Every once in a while, it looks like a big slot machine. There it goes. You can't, again, you can't pro probably see it because of the wide angle lens, but they actually have like a, looks like a huge slot machine on the side of the building. All right, dinner time. So we decided to have a dinner at the Watermark, which is on almost the top floor, I guess. And let me show you around. Let's see if we can get this right. Okay, just we ordered and I gave him my menu and I'm trying to remember what I ordered. So I think it was the Caesar salad. So they have a whole bunch of stuff on the menu and they're all broken up into soups and salads, starters, main, dessert, and they have sides which aren't included in the price. So it's forty nine forty nine dollars per person and then you get to pick three things but not including these extra sides so I ordered the Caesar salad the uh, tiger shrimp trio uh, it's probably four shrimp uh, and then the lobster linguine and what did you order a se the seafood linguine no it was, was it the seafood or no it's lobster linguine go ahead Baby green salad. Minus radishes. I looked at that, I'm like, I haven't had radishes in a long time. Go ahead. 
pâté de bois. Au foie, maybe. We're so bad at French. Chicken Supreme. Chicken Supreme, which is uh, a beef based meal, for sure. Beef based. Chicken Supreme. You got it. It's got to be. We will. Uh, oh, uh, so. Carol got some very funky. Sweet. Tart. Look at that. So I got a Canadian, of course, and a sweet tart. So this is my Caesar salad. I've never had Caesar salad like that before, but it looks good. Oh, and we got bread. Nice. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna give this place a go out and get it now. It is on the high end of pricing, but the food uh, preparation was absolutely top notch. Uh, the I'll show you a picture, I think, if I can remember to do this. Uh, of the Caesar salad. I've never had a Caesar salad uh, the way that it was laid out uh, and the Caesar salad dressing was absolutely creamy, dreamy, amazing. Uh, and instead of um, Parmesan grated on it, they actually, it almost looked like there were shaved almonds all over my, my food, um, but it was Parmesan cheese, which is a really neat way uh, of the presentation. Um, and then my Shrimp trio was really interesting and lovely. Uh, nothing super special about it. Uh, it was again, it was all about presentation. It was actually quite good. Uh, and then uh, the seafood linguine was again top notch. The all the shrimp and scallops and uh, lobster and what else they ever put in there it was just absolutely man, amazing uh, again if you get the chance to come up to the Hilton uh, try out this place uh, the watermark we are walking across the sky bridge from the Hilton to the casino and we're gonna blow some bucks I didn't bring any money we gotta go back Good old Carol. She has these little special hiding spots in her purse where she keeps extra money. So we're gonna blow $20 each. Big spenders, I know. They're gonna be giving us free drinks all night because we spent $20 on what? I'm gonna try for the penny slots or we'll try for something. Quarter, I think. I like quarters. into the casino because we're gambling aholics just trying to figure out what to play uh, the guy at the cashier said you can actually put in your $20 bill and then play on a roulette or sorry the slot machines and then uh, if you don't want to play on the machine anymore you just press cash out and then I'll give you a ticket with the remainder of your money on it and then you can just take that and either cash, give it to the ca the guy, the cashier, and he'll give you your money, uh, or you can put it into another machine and just keep playing that way. It's kind of cool. We're just trying to figure out which game to play, and some of them look really complicated. And then over here is the blackjack. So that's the last 20 bucks on the Walking Dead. Slots. It was a lot of fun to play it, but 75 cents a bet, it goes fast. So, gambling isn't our thing. We lost our money. Uh, Carol was actually up like, I don't know, $5 at one point. She only put a $10 in her slot machine. And, uh, she kept going like low, 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 and then she go right back up to fifteen dollars, and then down, and she went up to fifteen dollars again, and then of course she just keep playing because she was hoping, 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 and hoping, and then eventually just goes ding, 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 gone. All right, guys. So there ends our little day trip to Niagara Falls. Uh, as you can see, we got an amazing view at nighttime as well as during the day. Uh, Carol and I had a great time, and tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure, I was kind of thinking whether or not we're gonna do the buffet or not because depending on what time we wake up, depending on what time I'm gonna hit Little Caesars and do the bacon wrapped pizza, I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, thanks for watching Ken's Vlogs. Talk to you later, bye.